Hey everyone, Antoinette here. Today I'm going to talk about seven ways that body language can come across as disrespectful in certain situations. And so these are signs that you certainly want to be aware of. I've been guilty of doing some of these as well without even realizing that the other person is taking it as disrespect. Now you may find yourself exercising some of these body language signs because you are uncomfortable around someone or you really do not like that other person. I'm not talking about those situations where you feel uncomfortable or the person has done something to make you feel uncomfortable. What I'm talking about is when you really are trying to engage someone and yet you don't even realize that some of these signs can come across as disrespect. The first sign of body language that can be taken as disrespect is crossing of the arms, leaning back, crossing of the arms. Now, I have done this in so many situations when I didn't mean to be disrespectful at all, but it's because I get cold easily. So what I've started doing in those situations is actually telling the person, I want you to know that the reason why I'm crossing my arms is because I'm cold. I'm still listening to you. I'm still engaged in what you're saying. And usually if you say it, if you put it out there that there's a reason, then the person totally understands. So I think if you're ever wondering if someone might be questioning, for instance, if you're crossing your arms, hmm, do they really not like what I'm saying? Are they really not respecting me? To just go ahead and say it if you're doing it because you're cold or because of some other reason. The second sign of body language that can be taken as disrespect is, is pointing your finger. If you want to make a point, it's always more appropriate if you put out your hand to a person instead of pointing. Whenever you point, it is usually taken as a bad body language sign. Some people tend to point a lot and they don't even realize that they're pointing a lot. I remember my father in restaurants, whenever he would be ordering and he would talk to a server about what he was ordering, he would actually point and he had no idea that his pointing finger could be taken as a sign of disrespect until we told him. Number three is this flicking of the hand or this swatting of the hand, kind of like this. I have been guilty of this a number of times whenever I say something like, I haven't decided yet, or I'm still trying to make up my mind. And it wasn't until my husband told me that it can come across as rude to the person that I am doing it with. And I had no idea. It was just a natural body language signal for me. And I had no idea that it could be taken as disrespect to another person. But when I sit back and I think about it, I can certainly see how others would take it as disrespect. Number four is rolling the eyes. This is one that really sets a lot of people off as being rude and disrespectful. I've got a video all about eye rolling. Be sure and check that out above and in the description below. The different types of eye rolling and how to respond to eye rolling if someone does this to you. Unless there's some kind of inside joke or you are just playing around, you do not want to roll your eyes to another person. Number five, number five, we probably have all been guilty of this, and that is eyes darting around. When somebody is talking to us and we all at once start breaking eye contact with them, but it's not just a break in eye contact with them and then we look up back to them and we give them our full attention. It is this constant eyes darting around. Basically what you are relaying to the other person at that point is, I am not listening to you because I am not with you. I am wherever my eyes are. Even if you are listening to the other person, they're not going to feel respected when your eyes are darting around. Now, if you're liking this video, I hope you'll subscribe to more videos on confidence, communication, and body language. Number six is when you actually turn physically away from another person. That is a negative body language sign that you're sending to them that you are not engaged in the conversation, that you may feel uncomfortable, and the other person is going to take it as you're not respecting them. The next body language sign of disrespect is when you pull your chin up and you're actually 
looking down your nose at someone. The other person is going to receive that as you do not respect them as an equal. Have you ever been guilty of any of these signs or, or is there another sign that you thought that I would mention as a sign of disrespect that I didn't? If so, please comment in the comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts.